Hello everyone and welcome to this transmission today. So today I'm on the side of uh, the stone tombs of uh, Tustorp, with which is in the eastern part of Jutland and Jutland is the western part of Denmark. So I was here, it's a very beautiful site I can say. Uh, there's several stone tombs and they're more than 5,000 years old. And the place was used to um, do rituals, and uh, and it was the site of a cult that existed back then, um, who did some different, they had some different uh, traditions and way of celebrating life. And uh, I was here for the first time uh, about two years ago, and back then I lived in. Um, in the eastern part of Denmark, so that was like a long trip back then. I was in Jutland for a weekend. I went here with two friends where we did some energy work. We did did some um, like energy downloads, uh, and I have been here several times since. And uh, and today, as it is, I live actually only ten minutes away from here. So it's a place I like to go and just be in the beautiful energies here. It's a very powerful place and therefore I decided to do this uh, transmission today where I will just channel the, the energy from here to all of you. So it's a bit windy and there's other people visiting the site. The site. So you might hear some voices during the transmission, a bit of wind, but I hope you can bear with that, it's not, that it's not too much. So I will just open up for the channeled message and also just tell you a bit about the place and then my experience of it. So when you arrive to the place you're just received by a very powerful grounding energy and at the same time very joyful. So what I experience in the whole area here in this part of Jutland is that there's a very joyful energy, a very present energy, so it's a an energy that supports being present in the, the now moment, just enjoying where you are when you are there and not to think so much of the future and what I get it when when I connect to the area is also this feeling of why would you not enjoy the moment why would you not be here living as a human if you were not here to enjoy and be present in the now moment so what the what the with the beings that are connected, the, or the consciousness connected to this place, it's more—it's more of a consciousness than actual beings. So it's more like an old consciousness of wisdom and uh, and joy. And um, what they do is they they help to support people into this state of being by being out in nature, by being here, and uh, and really just uh, take it all in. So, what they were supporting back then, when, when it all started over 5,000 years ago, was also about being present. But that was more of like opening up to new times. So, uh, what I feel is that before that, it, uh, the, the consciousness had not been as expanded, so it was like a help for people to expand consciousness as it is now still but back then it was it's it was at a different state so it was to help people open up to there was more than just uh, what they were used to seeing and being in so that is also what they're going to help us to uh, connect to today so if you feel your body now, how does it feel? Does it feel heavy or emotional or are you tired or are you happy, joyful, peaceful? So that is the first step in being present, just recognizing how are you actually doing now? How is your body feeling? And also accepting how it is, just accepting that you might not feel super happy, that you might not feel energetic, but just accept what is right now. 
So what they say is the present moment is like a portal, portal into a whole new way of being. And very few people actually exist in this state of being. And therefore we cannot really imagine that it is a fruitful way of being. So what we're used to is to be in the future a lot. We're used to thinking a lot about what, what should come from where I am right now. What's the goal? What's the result of uh, what I'm doing right now? And that is a way we have created for ourselves. So there's really no one to blame. There's no one to blame and also that wouldn't be fruitful to so spend time or energy on that. And we will understand why that is not fruitful at a later time. Some will already understand it now why that is not fruitful, but we'll save that for another time. So now it's just about understanding how the now moment is a portal into greater things, greater experiences. So what we're used to is to, to do a lot in order to accomplish something, to make our experience greater, to expand, to have more, to experience more, to do more of what, we, what brings us joy and what we think brings us joy, what brings us more of what we want. What we can be is we can be in the now, completely present, and we will be able to expand even more than if we go out and start working on doing a lot of stuff. So now you're in the experiencing, experience of just sensing your body. How does it feel? And when that is more or less like a normal practice for you, when that is something you're doing throughout the day, then you can expand the exercise, which will help you even more to be even more present. And that is, what am I sensing right now with my senses? So what do I see with my eyes? What do I hear with my ears? What do I smell? What do I taste? And how is there any like tactile stimulation right now? Do I, do I feel anything on my skin? And imagine that we actually are sensing something all the time, but we get quite numb. It's like we have clothes on all the time, but we don't think so much about how does it feel to wear this clothes. Not feel like in a, in a way of how does it look, uh, but more is it tight? Does it feel tight? Does it feel nice on the skin? And that is something to pay attention to. Because really that is also a big part of it. That is a big part of enjoying being in your body is also that you're treating it in a way that feels comfortable. And that can also just be the clothes you're wearing. If it's too tight, we have an idea of tight uh, pants, like tight around the belly is, is good. Uh, but that can prevent us from having this a harmonious breath and our breath and the relaxed belly area and the legs is really important for us to feel grounded, peaceful and also to feel safe actually, to feel safe on earth. It's like we, we want to have this relaxed lower part of our body. But that is often neglected a bit. So the next thing I receive is, so now you have this awareness about what you sense in terms of your emotions and also in the, in the sense of your, your senses. Then is the, is the time to open more up outwards. Like, what are you seeing right now that is nurturing you? So just look around, 
is this something that is exceptionally beautiful to you to, to look at? And then be practicing that. Be practice, practicing seeing beauty. And the more we do that, the more we spend time on practicing, seeing, recognizing what is beautiful to us, to sense, the more we will be aware of it. So the more we will see it when we look around. It will no longer be something we think about that we have to. We will just be looking around and then all the things that feels beautiful to us, that looks beautiful to us, will just be magnetized to us, to our awareness. And really, what they say is also that it's really quite simple. We think that it's difficult. It's difficult to change our lives to the, to the better, to what we want, but really, the now moment is the entrance to the life that we want. Because, as they say, we think that it's outside of ourselves, which makes us quite powerless. But really, it's inside ourselves. And many of you know that, but really understanding that, really, really understanding the value of enjoying your life, It's not a luxury, it's really a way to create more. More of what you want, a life that you thrive in. And we think sometimes that when conditions change, we will feel different. But we won't be feeling different in a different situation unless we start to feel it before and that can be a way we create uh, unconsciously that we have actually though not been aware, been aware of it but we have started to cultivate different emotions or our higher self is just nudging us in a way from inside but to be elevating into higher consciousness we have to be aware how we create more of what we want. We have to pay attention to how we are creating, that we are creators of our own experience. If we neglect that, we will uh, get stuck in a loop of feeling powerless. We will continue to reinforce our experience of not being able to decide for ourselves which life we want. And I have really many experiences of that and how that has changed is really a matter of trusting myself more than trusting the programs, the human programming and the programs that I see played out in the outer world. So we tend to do what others do because we are programmed to do so. And by programming, it's like energetically we have been introduced to that early in life, this way of behaving, those patterns, and this is how you do. And that's why we continue to follow these same patterns, these same, it's like we're stuck in a, in, on a on a specific track and we just keep going on that until we elevate our consciousness and consciously decide to step out and start creating for ourselves. So if you don't do that, you will be in the loop and you will see things play out outside of you and you will follow it because you think you have to. But that is keeping you in the feeling of being powerless or being semi-creating. Like you can only uh, create 
to a certain extent. But the truth is that you have so much power over your circumstances <clears throat> sorry that you can even create a situation that you don't want by focusing on it and they explain that by when you focus on a certain way of being, you will direct your energy into that way of being, even though it is something you don't want. But if you are in the moment right here, now, you cannot be in other places with your thoughts. You cannot be in other places with your focus than right here, which means you're taking all your energy into the now moment and just experiencing it from here. And because time really is the now moment, what we experience as time is not real. It is only the now moment that exists. And therefore, being here and now is what makes you the most powerful. Taking all your energy, all your light, all your power, wisdom, all your joy into this moment and allowing yourself to be that person you really are and also allowing yourself to have this moment just for you. And that is really important to allow you to have the moment just for you. And that doesn't mean you cannot be with other people while you're having that moment just for you. But it means that you are the one receiving your energy and you are not sending it out which is not really true but it is how we often perceive it but we are not using our energy to push against others and that is basically what we do when we are together with people and try them to do certain things or change or be something all out of love. But really that is taking our energy out of the now moment, out of being right here, right now, enjoying ourselves and being here just, just for us ourselves. So this is important, and this is important in the coming time. Many people feel lost at the moment. They feel, am I going to continue this way? Should I shift career? Should I shift, should I move? Should I do something else? What is it that's, that's not feeling right at the moment? There's something that's off, like, Something's changed and I, I don't know what it is. And I don't know how to have a fulfilling life again. And we're invited to step into this type of creation. Be present just for you. And you will know why when you start to be that person who is completely present, who is completely joyful, who is passionate about being you, about being alive. It's beautiful and it's important 
for your future, for the future of the earth. We are not stuck. We are not stuck in patterns. We are not stuck in a way of being. We are not stuck in a specific society. And we will realize that when we connect to our power. How we can create. The society we want. The life we want. So. We will end this transmission here. Thank you all for tuning in. It was such a joy. And I will sit here a little longer and just enjoying the view. And I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>